Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to swatch all of these Makeup Geek highlighters. Yes, a lot of Makeup Geek highlighters and you need probably all these in your life. So let's get started. I am a Makeup Geek, Makeup Geek. I absolutely love Marlena and all of her products and um, there's not a day that goes by that somehow her products don't end up on my face even when I am trying and testing new products her products are always on my face so today I, I did an earlier video unboxing a boxy charm and in it was one of her blushes and so I used um, one of her highlighters from the Kathleen lights palette I used her eyeliner um, trying to think of what else I could have on oh and her contour so again um, even when I use other makeup from, as I'm testing other brands, Makeup Geek always ends up back on my face somehow, some way. So, with that being started, said, started, with that being said, we are going to swatch all of the ones that I purchased. There, I did not purchase three of them, and that was for um, very dark skin tones and as you can see I was already pushing it probably with the mid skin tone colors um, I'm not going to go in any particular order I I've been playing with them all so we're just going to take maybe one at a time and see how they do we're going to start with these three here so they all look similar in color so let's see what they actually do on the skin the first one being, this one is called Lit. This is a duochrome. And these things are so buttery. Oh my goodness. So we're going to take Lit. And again, my skin is very white, but check out how that just sits on top of my white skin beautifully. Okay, next we have Moon Phase. This is also a duochrome um, highlighter. Let's see what that one looks like next to lit. Okay, already on my finger. Holy mackerel! So we'll place that one right there. Oh my goodness, look at how that one picks up the blues. Oh. So while they do look similar again in the pan, when they actually get placed on your skin, there's no similarities. Mm -mm, none whatsoever. Okay, so this next one is called Celestial. This is also a duochrome. I love duochrome. I love how it picks up in the light. Okay, so we have the lightish. We have a bluish tone. And now we're going to pick up that purple color. So again, they all look similar in the pan, but when you get them on your skin, look at how the light picks up. Totally different. Speaking of two more in that same color zone being very light, let's see how these do. Okay, so we are going to use this one right here, which is called Psychedelic. And we'll play Psychedelic right there. Check that. Oh, look at how pretty these are. Thank you, Marlena. Thank you for being a makeup goddess. Okay, so this one is called Electrify. Let's see how it electrifies my arm with a little swatchy swatch test. Okay, so we'll put that right there. And that one picks up a nice gold. I wish you guys could see these in person. Um, again, you know, they're picking up beautifully on camera but still not as um, gorgeous as they actually are in person. Okay, so the next ones we're going to go to, I'll put these two next to each other. These do not look similar to each other. However, they are kind of in a neutral-ish color, so let's see how these do. This one I've really enjoyed using, and this one's called Midnight Sun. And really and truthfully, I'm glad I bought all of these because, again, with how different each of these look next to each other, I mean, I can create a million different looks. And, oh my goodness, that is a nice bronzish peach color. 
think I may have to bring out my other arm for swatching. Okay, now we have Daybreak, which is a, um, looks very coral-esque in the palette. So let's see how that swatches. And that is stunning. And our final three. We have this beautiful one here called Glitz. This is a highlighter. And let me back up. Daybreak was just a highlighter. It wasn't the duochrome. I love the duochromes. Oh. Okay, so this again is Glitz. And we are going to put Glitz. Look at that. I mean, that is just gorgeous. Luster is going to be our next one. And that is just beautiful also. I love how all of these highlighters are so complementary of one another and yet so different so that you can create an indefinite amount of looks on your cheekbone. We are on to Rekindle. Love that name. Rekindle. And it, I just feel like it had to be said that way. Because I'm a geek. Period. Alright, so Rekindle. Let's look at what this bad boy does. We will put that right there. Absolutely stunning. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take her other highlighters. I've, I believe I have another video that's been out there on these. This is the Kathleen Lights palette. Um, this one here is what I have on my cheek today. So I'm going to throw in these three because if you don't want to buy the individuals um, and you may want to go for this palette here, uh, since I am swatching her highlighters, we, we're going to go ahead and do these also. So um, we have Sunlight. Oops, Starlight and Nightlight. So with these three beauties, let me try to find an arm. Let's do those right here by my wrist. So that gives you an additional three to look at. So again, these Makeup Geek highlighters are stunning. Thank you so much for watching my video today on the Makeup Geek Highlighter Swatches. I hope you enjoyed it. Even more so, I hope you purchased them or are going to look at purchasing them because these highlighters are amazing. Uh, Makeup Geek always does a fantastic job. Her products are wonderful. I've never had problems with them on my skin. They've never caused any issues. They are high quality at an inexpensive price. Um, I'm hoping that she doesn't ever figure out how wonderful she is because <laughs> the price points are amazing. It, she actually does such a high quality makeup and makes it inexpensive for the everyday makeup user. So I am so appreciative of her high quality and making it easy for every woman to afford. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up or consider subscribing. The subscribe button is below. If you did like the video, um, think about sub sending me to a friend or family member. And if you have any comments, suggestions, or questions, please feel free to comment below. I do try to answer all of them, and I have enjoyed some of the great feedback y'all have given me. And I take it to heart and try to infuse all of what you guys ask for. So with that being said, I hope you have a lovely day. Bye. Until next time.